Okay, so I have a new version of EchoSketch um, and it has a new feature that you've been asking for, at least some of you, uh, who are working in 360 degree photography. So you have asked uh, on the comment section and on Facebook uh, for the ability to place a photograph in here and then draw on a transparent layer on top of it. Okay, so I have implemented this in a very uh, rudimentary way and what you do is you get here to the main folder and you have your usual data folder and on the data folder you take a photograph, uh, an equi rectangular photograph such as this one, and um, and you just rename it to background. Okay. Oh, by the way, um, for to make sure that this works, make sure that the photograph is um, sized to one thousand six or sixteen hundred by eight hundred pixels. Okay. I'll speak more on that later. Uh, in principle, it should work on other resolutions, but um, we'll need to discuss that. So, you just get here to the data folder, you put in a JPEG, has to be a JPEG, uh, named background.jpg. And then when you start EchoSketch, it will automatically load in your JPEG, and you can draw on top of it, you, you can use the, the grid as usual, back and forth okay you can switch it on and off with G and you can draw on it with the usual tools okay and and you can also turn on and off your background your photographic background with shift B okay so you can turn it on and off with shift B and uh, the interesting thing here is that you will be drawing not directly uh, on your background picture but on a transparent layer on top of it that's the feature that you've been requesting so for instance suppose that i uh, was interested in uh, joining the corresponding points of these doors assuming the doors were aligned and um, finding the geodesic that prolongs the line that joins them now I join these other two corresponding points on the top of the door and this way if the, the doors were aligned I would find the vanishing points uh, of, of the straight lines connecting these points and actually they seem to be aligned because you know uh, there is a parallelism here if I take this, these lines here uh, yeah, actually no, actually they don't meet exactly. Oh, but wait, this may be a problem of the photograph itself. Wait a minute. This is interesting to see. Yeah, yeah, actually no, it was a problem of my sloppy measuring. Uh, so you see, we have these two points here uh, and we can see that uh, they seem, the doors seem to be aligned because if I prolong the wall, uh, all three lines seem to meet at the same vanishing point. So you can do these kinds of constructions and for instance from here, from this point at the bottom of the door, you could then connect it to, well, to the vanishing point here and it would find the other vanishing point at the end and that means that um, uh, you could that this here if I pass a vertical vertical here at the door this means that this point here where the vertical finds this line which is parallel to these is the point where the, um, the bottom of the door must be uh, which is hidden by these people, but now you know exactly what it is, as long as the photo is 
you know, well, decently well stitched, which is not the case on this sloppy photo that I have here, but uh, it's close enough. Okay, so you can do these kind of things, these kinds of thing, and um, and then you you can save it to your usual uh, directory, and you press S, and you will find that now you, as usually, you you have your JPEG, okay, and you see that the JPEG. Uh, only has the wait are these no these are not the lines that I've just done uh, where are they yeah here they are okay so you see these are the lines that I have drawn and um, and you don't have uh, the rest of the picture okay it's a separate layer altogether and you can use this to um, to process it in Photoshop or something. And um, okay. And also, it has saved the same thing as a transparent PNG. Okay. So now we're saving it as as a TIFF, as a JPEG and as a transparent PNG. And if I open here in Irfan view, it doesn't see anything, but if I open it, say, in sketchbook, you can see that uh, the PNG actually contains all the data and it's, it's already transparent, okay? So, uh, I hope you'll find this useful. Now, some some notes uh, this is as i said all a bit beta or even alpha software so um i told you that the the background picture must be a jpeg for now and it should be 1600 by 800 pixels exactly for you to get the best results okay but it doesn't have to be Okay, um, for instance, let's suppose I take, I rename this, and now I take this picture here, which is 2048 by 1024 pixels, and I rename it background. Okay, and now I'll run, uh, I can sketch once more. And there you have it okay so it still works yeah, and this is actually a nice picture because it's actually a, a, a world map in equi rectangular projection so uh, when we draw lines here we are actually drawing the geodesics uh, on, on earth I think this is equi rectangular yeah it is it is so um, okay um, so uh, you see it works and um, and uh, well, actually, there's no reason for it not to work with even larger pictures. But uh, I've been having some bugs, and uh, often if the picture is too large, um, Echo Sketch will just crash or at least refuse to load properly. So if you want to get guaranteed results. Um, make it 1600 by 800 uh, but um, I would appreciate it actually if you tried it with larger pictures and uh, and if you would tell me if it works on your system because it should but it's not working in general and um, while I figure out the bug you could uh, report on your results uh, meanwhile there is another feature which is uh, also experimental and also it's not working as it should, which is this. Um, if you, you have this uh, text file config that if you open it, you'll find a single number in there. 
and that is the y resolution the number of pixels on the y-axis uh, that echo sketch will try to run on so for instance if i come here and i write 400 and save this and then i run echo sketch you'll see that it runs on a smaller window okay so in principle and this has some people have tested it and it works and some people have tested it and it doesn't work and i don't know why uh, so again i would appreciate it if you tried it unfortunately on my system um if i try it on anything larger than 800 i get problems for instance here you will see that it just refuses to load okay you get this uh, gray screen i don't know why because some of you have been uh, have reported that you can run it in large resolutions so uh, your mileage may vary and um, for now it seems to work for everyone uh, if you put here 800 or less this means that you get a, a resolution of 1000 times 800 and um, so this is always the the smaller resolution uh, the y axis uh, resolution but um, yeah uh, for 800 it works and um, i would appreciate it if you reported if it works on your system for larger resolutions how large and uh, also if you can load backgrounds on large resolutions uh, in principle you should be able to run a sketch at 800 resolution but load your background at a much larger resolution it should work it's uh, well it works in some computers not others i don't know why so yeah uh, you can now download this new version and let me know what you do if it's useful for you in uh, working with 360 degree photography with vr photography and um and uh well soon i hope to fix these bugs so see ya